Hello! Today I am on my husband and I's futon that we bought when I first moved in here and we slept on for I think a couple weeks at least. I will be crocheting and talking about um, a little bit of a not so fun topic but in a more fun light. Uh, pointing out my worst overreactions and then kind of examples of some of the triggers that may resort to some, the reasons I may resort to those reactions or the reason, the things that trigger those reactions. Working on a sleeve today, I'm gonna to be copying this one. And then I also have to kind of write down everything because I will get so confused and so uh, distracted. So I will see you here in a second. I'm back. To get started, it was kind of difficult honestly because i didn't want to get too heavy so i'm gonna start out with one that's not as serious as some of the other ones um and that is assuming that my husband is purposefully trying to set me off piss me off make my sensory issues go haywire all of that when he is really just having the tv kind of loud or his music kind of loud he kind of dances I don't want to make fun of him. I'm not trying to make fun of him. I think it's adorable. It's kind of the stomping. He just kind of got heavy feet. He's a six foot tall man. So it's kind of, uh, <laughs> he purposefully trying to set me off by dancing or bless you child. I would th assume that my husband is purposely trying to set me off when he was in the kitchen, say making me dinner or us dinner and would have his music too loud in my opinion and would dance and have a little bit of a heavy feet and it would make me oh, so mad. When in reality, my husband's actually pretty hard of hearing and he just is really passionate about music and I cannot argue with that. I've blasted my own music in the car before and sometimes he ain't having it either. And speaking of sensory issues, here's another one. It's not really much of an overreaction. It's more of a, a persistent problem that I have around my husband and around other people. This one's not much of a like full-blown overreaction to a trigger. It's more of a sensory trigger. And that is sometimes my husband will somehow kiss me the just wrong way and it will set me off so badly that he can no longer kiss me. But if I'm like already previously anxious or wanting his physical touch to help me calm down, um, I'll somehow be able to be fully engulfed by his arms and like be held by him like a child but he won't be able to like kiss my cheek or get it on, like get, get close enough to even kiss me on the like, lips, but I can be held. It can last a little while to a few hours and I have to like distract or doing something else before I can try again with getting a kiss from my husband thing, just anything moving with my face. Uh, I have no idea why that is. I know it's like a sensory thing for me because I get that skin crawling feeling and that's usually my response to anything that's a sensory thing. The last one I'm gonna talk about is a little bit more serious, but in hindsight, after it's happened and I'm recovered from it, it's kind of funny how it started uh, because I feel like it's something that so many people have been like, yeah, that's happened to me. That made me so annoyed that, you know, ruined my whole day or whatever it may be. And then my my response to it, my overreaction to it is, yeah, I had a full blown like psychosis episode where I was just screaming. And then I started just laughing, just hysterically laughing. But I need to look at my notes again. It, started and had been at a new job working for well that's not good cool so this was maybe one or two months ago and it was snowing out it was super cold and i still had a job working for the health department of my state and i was doing survey calls this job wasn't going very well so it was very high stress time for me I was having a meltdown or an episode or at least some sort of anxiety or panic attack pretty much daily. And this was in the morning, but I had gone into, into the dining room such kitchen area and my coat had fallen onto the floor. It was laying over the back of a chair and our chairs are unfortunately curved and not straight at the top. And of course, immediately I blame my husband. I go, you somehow knocked over my coat and didn't pick it up and I 
smelled it, touched it, and immediately knew that my cat had gotten to it. This old boy, his name is Roger. Roger's old as fuck, okay? We're assuming he is over the age of 10. His previous owners, which is um, my husband's close friend, believes he's over the age of 17 or around the age of 17. So he doesn't always make it to the litter box and that's okay. So he had gotten to my coat and unfortunately that was my last straw that day. Bright and early at like eight in the morning, that was my last straw. I proceeded to just start sobbing this just, you know, the scream sobbing, you know, you just, you're wailing, getting right into it, you know, that growling almost. And then that transformed after a few minutes into hysterical like laughter. And I will say hysterical laughter feels a lot better than the sobbing, but it's kind of scary. I actually have footage of it that I'm not gonna put in this video because I do kind of want it to, at my own pace, possibly show that for awareness some other time. <laughs> but my husband had to obviously stay home a little bit longer. Uh, he was supposed to be going to work that morning. And he got me into the bath, which is a huge, I guess a nervous system shock almost. Hysterical laughter is stress-induced psychosis. And when that happens, kind of the only thing that really brings me back is that immediate change in temperature, sometimes going outside or change of environment may help. Usually warm, hot water. Uh, I have done cold water before too, and that's helped specifically when I was super heated with anger. So that was really fun. That was three of my worst overreactions or I guess sensory issues and their triggers. I did actually record a different video and I've been desperately trying to edit that video, but I ended up having a breakdown just that whole process of, because I got it all on camera, how I kind of spiraled into a panic state. But thanks for watching. Um, again, thank you so much for any and all feedback on the last video. Really excited to have you all here. Really excited to be here. Um, and hopefully I can get more frequent with the uploads. I want to do at least one a week, at least one a week. And I think I'm still holding to that if I get this edited pre relatively quickly. Um, I will say the editing will change quite a bit because I'm still kind of figuring out how I want to do it. And that's okay. I'm figuring out my style. Um, but I will see you guys later and bye.